good morning afternoon or evening whatever time it is that you're watching this video i hope you guys are doing well um i'm going to show you how to do a drawing of hot air balloons today we are still talking about um space and the element of space in art and when i say space i don't mean outer space like the planets what I mean is the, the way things look to our eyes when we look out into the world. So if I am looking at something really, really far away, then it's going to look small, okay? If I'm looking at something that's really close, it's going to look large. And um, so today we're gonna be talking about that and I'm going to teach you how to draw um, this picture of hot air balloons you are welcome to after we are done drawing it you can use any color you want you don't have to do the colors that I did on my drawing you're welcome to use any colors now one thing I want to say before we get started is I have uploaded videos about craftsmanship um, to the Google classroom and to my YouTube channel so if you are struggling to figure out how to color with crayon and make it look like a four how to color with marker and make it look like a four, or how to color with colored pencil and make it look like a four, then please go to um, the videos on my Google Classroom or on my, um, you can find them on Google Classroom or the YouTube channel. And you can um, watch each video of crayon, marker, and colored pencil. And that should help you out with your coloring. Now it's something that we do need to practice because we're not born knowing how to color like this right so it's something that we need to practice so while you are at home doing your art projects i want you to really focus on making your drawings into a piece of art and the way you make your drawing into a piece of art is you color all the areas of the paper so notice i don't have any white paper i used to i used a white piece of paper notice i don't have any white paper showing except for the clouds where i drew them in right so I didn't leave off any blue I colored the whole thing I didn't leave off any colors in the hot air balloons I colored the whole thing so we're trying to make our um, drawings into a full piece of art all right we're gonna go ahead and get started on our drawing so um, you're gonna check your example and see we're drawing up and down so whatever paper you have get it out and you're gonna turn it up and down you're gonna need a pencil and an eraser in case you make mistakes. I'm gonna use my marker like I usually do so that if I, um, so that you can see it against my whiteboard. But I don't want you to draw with the marker, I want you to draw with the pencil, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna draw is the big hot air balloon. And the big hot air balloon is the shape of a circle. Now, this project is not about focusing on making perfect circles, but it is something that we do need to practice because we draw circles a lot in art. So you are going to draw a big circle, but when you do, I want you to press your pencil really lightly so that if you make a mistake, you can erase. Because if we do our pencil really hard like this, then when we erase it, you can okay, still see the line, that right? So what you're gonna do is instead, you're gonna press really, really light. And if you make a mistake, look, I erased and now my pencil line is gone. But right there where I pressed really hard, you can still see that little pencil line right there. So we're gonna practice, I like to call it using a baby hand, like your, your hand has no strength like a baby, so you're gonna pretend like your hand is a baby hand. And you're barely going to press. That way if you make a mistake, when you make your eraser go over your pencil, look, it all the way goes away. And I'm still trying to get this line away and look, it's still there because I pressed too hard, okay? So what I'm gonna do, take your pencil and we're going to add a large circle. Our large circle is for our large hot air balloon and it's big, right? So on my paper, if you drew the large hot air balloon like this, you might wanna erase it and make it really, really big. Okay, so about that size, all right? Now, my medium balloon, which is behind this balloon, this balloon is in front because it's the largest. When things are close to us, they look big. When they're far away, they look small. Okay, so think about standing at the end of a hallway. If you're all the way at the end of the hallway waving at your friend, your friend's gonna see you really small from the other side. But if you're standing really close to your friend in the hallway, you're gonna look really big to your friend waving high. Okay, so I've got a big circle. Now my medium circle I drew running off the page a little bit. 
And I drew it running off the page because that makes it more interesting. If we just have three little circles on the inside of our paper, it doesn't show much movement. But because I have the hot air balloon kind of going off the page, it makes me think this hot air balloon is moving this direction. So it kind of makes our paper more interesting or our art more interesting. So I got a large circle. Now, medium is smaller than large, right? If this is large, then when I draw a smaller one, that is going to be medium, right? And then small is smaller than medium, right? Because if I get a small pizza, it's gonna be smaller than a medium, right? So I have a small, medium, and large. So here's my large, here's my medium, and here's my small. And I want to make sure that I get them the right size. Okay, so here's my large. I've already got that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in the corner of my paper, I'm going to give it a little half circle. After I get my half circle, I can go back and look at these two and check myself and say, even with my half circle, my large circle looks bigger. So that's right. Okay, so I've got my large and my medium. Now I need my small. And my small is over here peeking off the top of the page, like that. Now I'm gonna go back and add the baskets. The baskets are what hold my people and hold everything in my hot air balloon. And so I need the basket to be the right size for the hot air balloon. If my basket is too big, then my hot air balloon is going to sink, right? It's not gonna be able to fly in the air because it's too big, so it's too heavy. But if my basket is too small, my big one, then it's gonna fly away and never come down, right? So I need to make it about as wide as my circle, okay? So this would be too small, right? Because that's not gonna fit our people. And this would be too big, right? That's gonna weigh down our, our hot air balloon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my box about the same size as my large circle and I'm going to attach it with some strings. I did four strings because there's four corners on a box, right? So on, on, if you're looking on top of a box, on a shoe box, there's one, two, three, four corners. So I chose four lines, one, two, three, four, to attach to my hot air balloon for each corner. Then my medium, Hot air balloon needs a medium box, so it's gotta be smaller than this box, right? So I'm gonna do about that size. One, two, three, four. Now my hot air balloon has a basket and it's attached. And then I have a small basket for my small hot air balloon. One, two, three, four, okay? Now we need to add the lines for our hot air balloon because hot air balloons have different um, panels on each side. So uh, I'm going to do a curved line and I'm gonna make it look like a moon. So see this green shape right here looks like a moon and this orange shape right here looks like a moon. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna put it at the top of my hot air balloon. And when I put it at the top of my hot air balloon, that's better, then I can make a curved line down like a moon. So see now I have a moon shape. Then I'm gonna make another curved line down like a moon and it's going to meet at the bottom. So my curved lines touch each other, right there and right there. Now I'm gonna put my pencil back in the middle of those curved lines and I'm gonna make one down the middle. So now my hot air balloon has little sections that I can color. Same thing with my other hot air balloons. I'm gonna put my pencil in the middle. I'm gonna go up, make a moon shape. Go up, make a moon shape. And then one up the middle. Little one, go up like a moon, go up like a moon, and one up the middle. Now I have one, two, three hot air balloons, and all I need to add is the clouds. There are a lot of different ways that you can draw clouds. Um, a lot of us draw them like this, and to be honest, Miss Rains really draws them like this most of the time. You can also draw a straight line, and then you can give it a big curved line, and then you can go uh, make it more curved line. So curved line, curved line, and then connect to the end. Okay, so I, sometimes I do that shape and sometimes I do that shape. Again, I did a straight line, a big curved line, 
Then I made a curved line, curved line, and connect. Now our clouds are gonna be big at the bottom because they're close to us, right? Because this is my big hot air balloon and it's big because it's close. So my clouds need to be big too. So at the bottom, we're gonna add big clouds. This is a very big cloud. And then as I get taller up the, up the drawing, so as I go up the drawing, my clouds get smaller. And remember, they're getting smaller because see right here, my, my um, little hot air balloon, I know that little things are far away. So I need my clouds at the top to be small because they're far away, right? So after I add my clouds big at the bottom, whatever shape of cloud you wanna do, Okay, big at the bottom. Actually, that's not right, because that's too close to the top. So I'm big at the bottom, they're getting smaller. They're getting smaller, however you wanna draw them. Getting smaller, and then up here, teeny tiny. Like that. Okay, so go ahead and add some clouds. Big on the bottom, small at the top, to make it look like you're close to this hot air balloon, but you're far away from that one. Then when you're done, get out your crayons or your markers or your colored pencils. And please watch the videos that I posted of how to draw properly with crayon marker and colored pencil. And then I want you to practice coloring your drawing so that it looks like your craftsmanship is at a four. Okay, so here's your crayon, four, marker, four, and colored pencil, four. Again, if you need help, go look at those videos on Google Classroom of how to properly draw with them. When you're done, send me a picture on Google Classroom, Class Dojo, or email. Have fun, guys. See you soon.